Hey guys, today I'm going to vacuum my pool. So I'm going to show you a couple of different options on how you can vacuum the pool. Um, I have polymetric sand in my con in the papers around my pool, so I get a lot of sand in my pool. So I'm going to show you if you get a lot of sand in your pool, I'm going to show you how you can filter it out. Because I have a sand filter, so it just goes right through it. So um, first, of so normally for everyday vacuuming, you would just plug it into skimmer into your just plug it in here so but today because I have the sand I'm going to I'm going to use my basket and put the sock on it and then put that down in here and I have this adapter that I bought that just sits on top of it and this plugs into the top of it, and then you just set it down on top of here. So another thing you can do instead of using the filter, the sock on the filter, like I'm gonna do today, is you could take the hose that plugs into your vacuum and take your handy dandy sock. And this is the closed end, and just shove it in the tube here, around like this. And then you would just plug it on, plug this into your vacuum. And as you go along the pool, then this is going to trap all the, all of the sand. Today I'm going to capture it near the filter. So if you do this, uh, make sure you only have a little bit of sand or you're going to have to clean it often. So when you're vacuuming, if you have this on, um, you'll see that the hose will start to cave in like this when it gets full and you won't get as much suction, that means you need to go ahead and change that out. Okay, so first I'm going to hook up my vacuum and put this in the pool. Dump that down in the pool. And just set it. I'm going to throw all the rest of the hose into the pool. And then to get the air out of the hose, what I found the easiest thing to do is to take this over where the water comes out. And just put it over that. thing I'm going to do is set this in. This is my adapter. Like this. And I'm ready to vacuum. Okay. So now I'm going to vacuum the pool. So to vacuum the pool, you want to move around kind of briskly. You don't, it doesn't need to take a whole lot of time, but not too fast that you don't pick up the dirt. So this is about a good pace right here. And I have a 30 foot round pool. It usually takes me about 20 minutes to clean it, as long as it's not too dirty. I'm just gonna go around and clean this up and I'll join you back in a few minutes. So this here is a great example of why I use the sock because that's sand on the bottom of my pool and I don't want that to uh, through the filter because it's, it's just going to pass right through. So with the sock, the sock is going to catch this and also all of this that I'm vacuuming up doesn't go into the filter because I don't want to have to backwash again because I don't think we're going to get rain for a while. So I don't want to have to refill my pool uh, if I backwash. Okay guys, I'm done vacuuming the pool. So as you can see on the hose, there's a little bit uh, of resistance on there. That's because I have this sock in the filter. So that's kind of normal, but it'll suck in even harder if your filter gets really dirty. And one way you can tell that you need to stop vacuuming and clean out that filter is 
keep an eye on your jets. So as long as it has water coming out, you're good to go. If you see the water slowing down. So when you see the jets are not putting out water anymore, that's when you know you need to go and change the sock. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the pump off and I'll pull the sock out and show you how much dirt we have captured. Okay guys, so I've pulled the filter out and I'll show you everything that I vacuumed today. You can see this is what would have been in my sand filter. So um, by capturing it in the sock, I don't have to catch all this in my sand filter and dirty it up so I don't have to backwash as often. So I got this so that I don't have, so I can use the sock on my filter so I don't have to backwash all the time. So this is the filter. I'll put a link down in the comments. And now I'll just pull the vacuum head out. The long pole. So this is a vacuum head for a vinyl liner pool. The um, vacuums for a vinyl liner and for concrete pool are totally different. So this one, as you can see, has brushes on it so it doesn't suck to the liner and pull it up or rip it. Um, I'm looking to get a different one. I'm not a big fan of this one. So, so when I find one that I really like, I'll do a review on it and I'll post another video. So make sure you like and subscribe so you see when that video comes out. Again, um, vacuum the pool today, use the vacuum head, use the adapter, so we could um, vacuum to filter with my sock. I love those socks, and um, my pool's all clean, so it's time to get in. Thanks for watching.